It's been it's been a while since I've last made made the I can't even speak. I'm just so irritated right now. I am so irritated right now. Like seriously, guys. Like that was. I'm a Marcus Smart fan. I love Marcus Smart. I love him as a player. But but back to back dirty plays. I don't care. That was just like the play last year. Why are you die like bro? This I. It's like, dang, just like the Solomon Hill play last year, man. I hope Steph isn't allowed a long time because of that. I, this game really doesn't matter because Steph, he didn't play the rest of the game. Moody got injured. Wiggins didn't play. I don't think Bielitsa. Bielitsa probably would have gave us some good passes, but and Wiseman obviously didn't play. But this is so, so irritated because people online, they just they just hate Steph, man. If I'm being real. <laughs> Oh man, they just hey, they just don't like Steph, man. Let's be real, they don't. They all making fun of Steph because Marcus Martin injured him. I'm like, I'm like that's that's wrong. It's very wrong. And tomorrow I'm gonna talk about the other games, two other games that happened before this. We're on that four game winning streak. Uh, now it's probably snapped. I didn't watch the rest of it. I don't watch about the last three minutes because I didn't feel like watching them talking, talk after what happened to Steph and. Moody, ah, just two very unfortunate injuries. I think someone else got hurt too, but on the Warriors side, and then Draymond was on a minutes restriction. Man, why can't this team just stay healthy? Why can't we just have the whole team together? Why does Steph have to get injured? <laughs> like we literally just had. Our big three back two days ago, and then Steph gets injured. Like, bro, I I had a feeling something like this was gonna happen. Just some, I just had a feeling, and he rolled his ankle. I'm pretty sure it was his ankle. I, it was foot soreness because he rolled on his foot. I just, I am just praying, man, and hoping, staying optimistic that it's nothing and it's just a soreness, and we have full, pretty much three, four days off until San Antonio. I just hope that it's nothing serious. Zayma Moody, because that could be really bad. He's been balling out as a rookie. He's my favorite rookie on the team. I, I love I love a lot of people love Kuminga, but Moody's been, he was my guy since the draft. I wanted him in, in the draft, so I'm hoping he's okay. Man, and you know what? That that first quarter, I was like, okay, all right, all right. Then the start of the, I was like, all right, yeah. Both teams played good defense. They kept us at 17. They scored 23. And then that third quarter, they started to make a push. But they actually didn't because we were down like six, six points. And then Steph got hurt. We were down eight to six points, I'm pretty sure. And then Steph got hurt. And then they really started to take off after that because no gravity, none of that. And then... And then the third quarter, like, you know what? They went on that big run. They just, they're just such an elite defensive team, though. They don't miss rotations. And it got, it made, it was an easier game because Steph was out, obviously. And when they didn't chase around Steph the whole game, it was a little easier on him. And we still almost came back. Jordan Poole at 19 in the third quarter. Like, he was a minus that entire first half. I don't know how he was a minus. He was, him and Clay, they were just missing shots the entire game. The entirety of the game, Clay and I mean, well, that first half and Clay and tied in the entire game. I think I don't even want to look at the stats. He was probably horrible from the field. I know last I heard he was eight for twenty four from the field. I think he's only made one three. Oh man, and uh, yeah, Poole was the only reason this game was close. Like he had nineteen of the third quarter. It probably ended with thirty. Um, he's been on such a tear. Eight straight games of twenty points. I think we're, uh, what's this, four, two, three, and three, uh, so, four and four, I think we're four and four in that stretch, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, uh, but, yeah, he, he's a monster, though, he is, he's a monster, Poole is a monster, man, I just hope Steph is okay. Pool, he'd be a good starter, but he's been starting these last few games. I don't even know what's going to happen to Wiggins, to be honest now. Because Pool has been such a plus in the starting lineup. It's been crazy. I think tonight would have been a great night to uh, play Wiggins. I mean, it would have been a great night for Wiggins. 
because he would um the, his defense is obviously well is needed. But we played great defense tonight as well. We like they shot thirty eight percent in that first half, but we shot twenty nine percent. Then we caught fire in that third. We were only down ten. Had we not let them go on that run at the end of the second quarter, we would have probably been up. We probably would have won this game. And Steve Kerr needs to play Quindary Witherspoon more minutes because he saw what happened in that third quarter. He saw what happened in that third quarter. Right when he put him, Kuminga, JTA in, they went on that big run. And they came back and got down. And got it below, I'm pretty sure, uh, single digits. But then we just couldn't come back because we probably got gas. Like, that's not easy to do. And we took our pool and Clay just couldn't convert at all. Open three after open three after open mid-range. He had one dunk in the fourth. I think that's all he scored. It's like all the shots he was making versus the Bucks, he couldn't make versus the Celtics. Like, oh man. These four these three 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 days off, I'm pretty sure. Three to four days off until San Antonio Sunday. Well needed, man. Well needed. This is crazy. It's just well needed. Because yeah, man. Man, those two guys are big pieces. Obviously, Steph is the biggest piece of it all, but Moody was turning it around, taking minutes away from Lee, who was pretty much horrible tonight. He played really, oh gosh, what was that? Whoa. But, um, yeah, he's, uh, I just hope they're both okay. Yeah, so no Warriors game for the next three days. And, yeah, I'll, I'll give you a video tomorrow about how I felt about the four-game winning streak and the two games of four. Give you a recap of that, and uh, I guess that's it. <sighs> we we uh, lost, but hey, we can, we can, hopefully good comes out. Good came out of this game. A few good things came out of this game, though, like Quinn and Poole and something else probably I'm forgetting, but yeah. See you guys later.